I hope everybody is having a great day. I can't believe we're halfway through May already. I was thinking about it and I was like, where is this month going? So I think everybody's kind of anticipating school getting out and the summer starting and with all of the fun releases this month, there's so many cute just summery dies and stamps and it's just, I'm having a lot of fun, I know, and I know the design team is having fun designing with all of the cute stamps. If you haven't seen the inspiration box, it's adorable. It's got the um, beach time stamps and dies. These little guys, I used those last week on my live super cute set you definitely want this one and then there's so many other fun things in that just in that whole release so who said that gina. hi gina hi thressa how you guys doing okay i'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera view i'm today we're going to actually use let me show you before i before i flip it we're going to use the whoops the fun in the sun dice and I've used them a little bit already but we're gonna use them some more because they are just fun yep I think we're good all right so today what I wanted to make is I I have to tell you a funny story so Darren if you would have told Darren he'd be working in the paper crafting industry a few years ago he would have just laughed because I've I've been interested in paper crafts for a long time and he just used to kind of roll his eyes. I mean, very sweetly. He was always very supportive and kind, but he, it was not ever anything he'd really given too much thought about for himself. Um, but one thing that he always was trying to get me to try out was he wanted me to try out a tunnel card. Well, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was because he suggested it or what. You know how sometimes you just like subconsciously do stuff like that? I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So when I saw that Brutus Monroe had a kit for tunnel cards, I thought, well, who said it? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I decided, well, I guess now is the time. That's my sign. So this is kind of, this is kind of for Darren. <laughs> All right. So this is the kit. Photoplay makes it. And we do have this on the site at Brutus Monroe. And this kit comes with um, enough of the supplies, the paper supplies, to make three tunnel cards. And it has all of the instructions printed on the inside. And it also comes with a couple of circle dies to make your tunnel. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And by the way, I want to first thank Darren for helping me by moderating. And also, I wanted to uh, thank him. He puts together a link that you can go to that will have everything that I use today all in one collection. And um, we are just gonna get started now. Okay, so the kit comes, like I said, it comes with the dies and then each card takes three pieces for the base of the card, for your bones of your card. Now the thing about a tunnel card is that you're going to want to kind of put your paper in ahead of time so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And hopefully I can remember because I have only tried this once and I told you it took me a little time to be brave enough to try. <laughs> so hopefully I remember everything correctly. So bear with me. First thing you're gonna do, you have a card base and it's not scored evenly. And there's one side that's going to be shorter and that is exactly how it should be. So go ahead and fold that over and just set that aside because we don't need that yet. And then we're going to go ahead and go along all of our score lines. So you know where the bump is? That's where you want to fold in. So you're kind of folding away from yourself. And so all of the lines on this are scored ahead of time. So that makes your life way easier. When you're done, you have something that looks like this. And we'll unfold that because we are going to put some paper there. And then, in fact, let's just do it right now so I don't forget. 
So that one, I'm going to use some of the Sea Life paper. You can see it has so many cute patterns. This is one of my favorite Brutus Monroe paper packs. I use it all the time and I use it all year long. There's so many cute patterns. I am such a sucker for polka dots that you know darn well I'm gonna use those all year long. So we're going to make sure that we place our paper. Now I need to cut mine down a little. I have it cut to three and three quarters by five and a half, but I don't wanna cover up my score lines. So it looks like I need to trim it just a little bit. So we'll just go down a little notch on our cutter and see where that takes us. Let me see if that's enough to get us where we wanna go. Yeah, I think that is pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and attach that right now so that I hate having a lot of pieces around because I lose things too easily. So if I can attach it now, I'll attach it now. Now on your, on your, um, on your card stock piece, it actually has some instructions right on it because this is the one we're going to cut with the smaller die. Let me show you this again first. This is what we're going for. I think it helps to kind of see the process ahead of time too, so you know what our ultimate goal is. So the piece that this piece is, is the one that's got this kind of lighter aqua color on it. So that's the first one we're working with. Am I missing anybody's questions? I'm talking a lot again. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sometimes I just get so down to business. I don't wanna miss any fun chatter. So you don't need to put any adhesive in the center because that's going to be cut out anyway because you're gonna have your circle die for that. And this is going to be, um, this panel will be the one that you cut the bigger circle out of. So just making sure that we're lining that up so that we don't cover up our score lines. All right, and just so I remember which is which, I'm going to do that. I also am going to add a little piece that I wanna add anyway. I'm gonna do it now so that I'll know when I go to I cut it where I need to put my window. So we'll just go ahead and add that right now. And this really pretty color is called Sea Urchin. It looks like I could trim a tiny bit off of that as well. I don't think that it's in stock right now, but there is, I do want to tell you that when you go to the Brutus Mineral site, if they're ever out of something, there is a notify button that if you click that, then when it comes back into stock, you'll get an email. So definitely utilize that. Okay, so that one's ready to go. We'll cut that in just a minute. And now we're gonna do the same thing with our next sheet. And this one's the one they have it labeled window two. This will be what we use our smaller circle on. All right, so now for this one, I'm going to use this cute yellow polka dot paper. I know, shocking that I would wanna use polka dots. And I'm guessing I'm gonna to need to trim it a little bit too. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And now we'll see if we've got it so it's not covering anything. It's kind of close. I think I'm gonna cut it just a tiny bit more. Just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? And since you don't really see too much of the sides, you see a little bit, but not a whole lot, so. I would rather cut it a little bit, 
a little bit tighter if that means that the card will um, assemble together better. All right, how did we do? Yep, I think that was a good a good way to do that. So let's get some adhesive on that. Does anybody have any fun plans for the end of school? Any summer vacations? I'm still trying to decide if I want to take a vacation in the summer or if I want to wait till maybe the fall. I definitely want to go visit my family. Okay, so now we're just going to put that on our little paper. All right, and now we know that one's for that. So let's go ahead and just take care of that. First, we're gonna do this one. And I am going to put just a little bit of um, removable tape on that. I think that's pretty well centered where I want it. And I'm putting the more of the tape towards the inside of the circle just because it does leave a tiny bit of a residue. And I am going to... Oh, Gina, I bet they are so excited. This will be Lily's first time. Oh, Lily's first time at camp? My question is, how are you going to do while they're at camp? <laughs> yeah, ben, Benji's getting ready to, uh, to do a really fun experience. He's going to um, go on a pioneer trek and kind of experience what pioneers headed west experienced. So we're trying to get him all conditioned so he's ready for a hike, the hike of his life. <laughs> but he's pretty excited about that. Okay, so now I've got these cute circles. I can use them for something else another time. And I think I've told you before, I just usually will put, like anytime I use a circle die, I'll just stick the whatever I don't use in with my circle dies. Yeah, Gina, probably for the first couple of days. And then, how long is camp? Because I have a feeling. Candy says hi. Hi, Candy. Won't take long before you're missing your kids. All right, so. This part is the part where you're going to see Shannon. <laughs> Shannon struggle because I tried this. I told you there's three cards in the kit. I tried one and mine came out kind of crooked, but I'm going to tell you I went online to YouTube and checked out the video that photo play paper, uh, photo play paper has. And this is how they tell you to, um, to situate your, your second layer of dies. So I'm going to try it again. I've told you before that I'm not known for, um, being able to get everything perfectly straight. <laughs> so this might be, this might be one of those moments where you learn to design around, but I'm gonna try. I am determined to give it my best shot. So now that I have that kind of placed, okay, well, let's try it out. I'm gonna take my other one off now. And I'm going to cross my fingers. So we'll just take our little circles out. Get those out of the way. And hopefully, 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 they line up. I think it's still too soon to tell, but we will find out. It will work anyway. It'll be okay no matter what. All right. 
So now we're also going to take this guy back out and we are going to add, is this the one? Oh, maybe it goes this way. Hang on one sec. Got to remember for a minute. I think, yeah, we got to do this first. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some, just some double stick tissue tape. You can use glue if you want, which honestly, when you're doing anything that's very dimensional, is probably good, but where I, I might need a little more grease than the liquid glue is gonna give me, so I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to peel, ah, be with me, I'm just a little bit nervous. Okay, is it this one? I think I have to do it this way. No, it's this way. I'm telling you, I told you this is new to me, so. Yes, this is how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to take off my And if not, we'll all have a good laugh, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're going to just go just up to where the score line is. We don't wanna cover the score line again. We want to make sure that we're keeping that free and clear, but we wanna get pretty close to it. All right, I've almost got it there, if I can stop moving it around. And then I'm just going to bend everything in all the way flat, okay? Ooh, I think it might be straight, you guys. Woohoo! So now we've got this kind of flappy thing going on. And then I think we'll go ahead and add our background here. You know, it's funny because you watch people on um, on YouTube and a lot of times, especially if they're a pre-recorded video, you don't know how many times they've made that to get it to look that way. And we all have those days where something just doesn't quite, doesn't quite mesh, doesn't quite work. And that's okay. And it is just paper. Ellen said, I'll woohoo with you. Oh, thank you, Ellen. I appreciate you, the woohoo too. <laughs> always, always nice when somebody is, is woohooing for you. All right, let's see if we've got this. Yep, we've got it pretty close. I think we're okay. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put it as far over to the left side as I can. So I avoid that score line again. All right, we are getting there. Look, it's coming together. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, now I'm not gonna go and get every little dot out and I'm okay with that. I could if I wanted to spend more time, but I told you I was going to work fiercely fast. So we are going to do just that. So we've got the octopus and we've got the shadow piece. And this little octopus is really cute. It has also got options for, I'll show you. I told you I was gonna show you the die set. I'm gonna show you the die set. So this is the Plenty of Fish die set. And this is the little octopus. It's got a little hat and a little um, neckerchief thing. And it's just adorable. Look how cute these all are. So I am going to use a few of the things from this and then I'm, going to use it with our fun and the sun dies. Don't they look like they go together? They just work really well. In fact, the sunglasses are even a good scale to use on the mermaid. I was checking that out earlier. So definitely check that out. Check out whether you have it in your stash already, or if not, then you definitely want to consider that one. All right. So now 
I think we're gonna go ahead, I'm a little scared because I kind of want to put a few things on this and I'm wondering if it'd be easier if I do it before I, before I attach everything together. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's easier to see where I want everything. Let's put a couple of things. We'll kind of compromise. So I'm gonna put a little bit of our coral Seriously, I think this might be one of my favorite dyes in that set. And it's just a little piece of coral, but I love, it works so well to just um, embellish with. It's just so cute. I just love it. All right, and I definitely wanna put our little octopus behind there, but I think we need definitely some dimension behind it. So I'm going to just pop that up. So I'm gonna put that on now. I could probably put that one on after, but I I think let's just kinda, let's get that guy situated. I think we'll put him, let me see one thing. This is what's gonna determine it. I need to see what direction our palm tree goes in. Where is my little trunk? There it is. So our trunk kind of goes this way. So I think we'll put our octopus on this side. Look how cute. Just peeking out through all of that. I think I might move him down just a slight bit. There we go, I like that better. Okay, so now I don't know if I should have done that or not, but I did do it, so we're gonna go with it. I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the plunge and attach the two, the two layers together. I wanna move so you can see what I'm doing. I took all of the backing off, so now I'm going to fold that down and attach those together. And that's kind of showing us what we're going to do. So I'm just gonna glue around. It probably would be easier once you've made one, you'll probably have more confidence. I know I will probably have more confidence the next time I make one um, to just add as you go before you attach it. All right, so I'm going to grab some of these. Now I wanna show you this paper that I used for the, um, the palm tree this is from the watercolor rainbow and I thought it was kind of fun because all I had to do was just because I moved the dye obviously in two different spots it gave me two different colors maybe more than that of um green and I liked the, I liked the way that that turned out let me just put my pin in this for a second while I put that together And we've got, look how cute that is. So we've got our palm tree together. We can kind of see where we want to put that together because that's going to be our main scene going on over here. I don't want to cover too much of my octopus, but I think... I think it's okay that it's going to stick out of my card a little bit. I think I'm okay with that. Yep, I am, because I, I like it to be kind of off the page just a little bit. So let's put our sand and our stump on there. tree trunk on there and be careful not to get your glue up higher than you need it because you're going to want to avoid gluing your layers together right you want to keep that dimension out there I'm probably gonna have to move that a little bit we're gonna have a little short 
palm tree. I'm good with that. Are you guys good with that? Let's move our, it might be too late because this glue is awesome and dries really quick. Ooh, we might be okay. Oh, that was so lucky. Man, the fates are on my side today. Knock on wood. All right, just wanted to move them down a little bit. And then we can get a little bit more on there. Yeah, I think that works. Might need a little bit more glue on that side. And then on this guy, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the glue right here so I don't end up gluing where I don't want to. And I'm telling you, these kits are awesome because everything that's really hard about making a tunnel card is already done for you. All right, so this guy's secure. Let's add a couple more little fun things. That's going to go on our front. Let's do a shell. What do you think? So this shell is also from the Plenty of Fish set. The palm tree is from the Fun and the Sun dies. And I actually have one more piece I just realized that needs to go on our island. So let's do that before I forget. And I think I may have lost a piece in here that I wasn't paying attention to, but we'll see. I'll cross that when we get to it. I, um, I cut out a sentiment and I always lose the little dot for my eye. All right, that will work. Okay, so now we can add a shell on the inside over here. Maybe we'll turn it a little bit. Maybe we'll use the other shell. So there's a shell, that's not it. In both sets, there's a shell in the Fun in the Sun and there's a shell in the plenty of fish and I did have these all organized but then I came in like a spaz and kind of moved them around <laughs> and I don't know why I left all of these out I just wanted to show you um, all of the cool dyes but I don't think it's really that helpful when they're all just in a pile so I think I'm going to move them so they're out of our way Let's just put this on here right now. And yep, it looks like I sure enough have misplaced, not surprisingly, with the way that I had my dies in a pile like that. I typically will glue it right as I cut it because I know I will lose it. That's how I roll. So we will just Oops, scooch that on there. Helps if I do it where I can see it. Am I missing anybody talking, honey? Kelly just said, love the card. I was a little late. Well, Kelly, we will take you whenever you can get here. We are happy you're here. Thank you for joining us. Oh, guess what I found, guys? Good news. It showed up. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so the trick is just getting it to uh, get off my finger and onto my project. All right, thank goodness it, it dries clear because that is a lot of glue. Okay, so that guy we can set aside. And then I wanted to show you on the, on the sun, there's the inside of the sun, and you can use the bigger circle or the smaller circle because there's also a beach ball. And I used the big size for the sun and for the circle, the beach ball because I like to use, I used both for the beach ball because the, um, the little pieces to the beach ball actually are the same size. 
So you end up covering the whole beach ball, if that makes sense. There's not a shadow to it. And so I th thought, um, oh, I forgot that I did that. I forgot I was going to leave those center. <laughs> this is such a live today. <laughs> okay, bear with me, guys. I forgot I was going to leave the center blue, so I... Um, I don't have that middle piece, but it's okay because we just covered up the ugly part on my blue piece and we are gonna be just fine. Okay. So now our beach ball has that nice outline around it just to make it kind of stand out a little bit more. That's gonna go on the front. I'll show you that in just a minute. But I figured let's kind of assemble our our dies so that they're out of the way and I don't lose anything else. I will get this guy out of the way since he is already ready to go. Maybe move him down a little. We don't want to cover too much of our octopus, right? Okay. So, oh, that's why I did that as I was going to use that other die. Okay. I see where I went astray. My uh, ADD is right there, right? <laughs> Okay, so now this is how the die goes for the, the little shell. You've got a little bit of layering on that to give it a little bit of dimension. And it does have another little piece that you can use, but I'm not going to use it today. I, I don't think it needs it. I think it's going to be just fine, and you may not even see the whole thing. See, it's going to be kind of sticking out. So, I haven't decided which shell I want to use yet, but we'll just set that aside. We've got more of our coral. We've got our crab right here. Let's put him together next. So we've got his little, the whites of his eyes. And this crab, there's a crab in both sets, both the Plenty of Fish and the Beach the fun in the sun, sorry. So you can pick your favorite. I think they're both really cute. And then you've got this little piece right here that goes up along the top. And I just used a slightly lighter piece of cardstock for interest. And this is a great way to use up your scraps. So this guy's gonna go on the front and we're also going to put the sun on the front. And again, I think we're going to put a little bit of dimension behind the center so that we can get a little bit more pizzazz going on. All right, so those are gonna go on our front. And let's get the ice cream cone. Oh, and I'm gonna use the sunglasses on the sun. I didn't use the face for the sun, but I liked the sunglasses for it because I thought it just was cute. I didn't think it needed the other for right now. Not with the crab and everything going on. So we're gonna add this layer to our ice cream cone. And there is a piece that goes in between the top ice cream scoop and the bottom that you can do another color for. But I figured I just thought the uh, the brown looked good to just be kind of like a chocolate mint or something. So I am not going to use that piece this time. I'm sure I will use it in the future. And then I just used a little bit darker, a little bit different green to give it some more dimension on that other little piece. Gosh. Everything's sticking to me instead of my projects today. There we go. And then there is a little uh, cherry that you can use, but I'm going to use an enamel dot for that. So we'll we'll have the crab have the, well, do we want the crab to have the ice cream or do we want the octopus? Well, I don't think you can see the octopus one enough. I'm not even sure I'm using the ice cream yet, but we have it ready to go. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if we want to use our shell down here. Well, that's kind of cute, huh? If we're going to do that, then I think 
Aren't they fun? There's just so many fun things you can do with both of these sets. Yeah, I think that will be good enough. Let's put our shell down here. I'm liking it with the island. And then we'll put a little bit of coral where it's peeking out behind our palm tree. And then we'll add just a little bit of green over here. But we don't want a whole lot. We don't need a whole lot. There's a lot going on, right? Okay, so now we're going to put a little bit of our tape along. Well, actually, it'll be easier if we do this. Let's put some tape on this. This is the, the shorter side of our card base. All right, so now we'll just take this and we'll line it up again so that it is not covering our score line. But we wanna get pretty close to it. All right. So we've got that. Now we can put our tape right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to close it, make sure it's on there straight, and then we'll close this guy. And it's nice that it closes this much because other than the way I made it, because I did have a little piece sticking out, but this makes it easier to pop in the mail, right? So now you can see how much dimension we have from that. So we're just going to decorate the front really quick. I'm just gonna decorate the panel and then we'll put the panel on the front. But I do wanna make sure that I have cut this properly because I am alive. I tend to, I just wanna make sure I have it together right. So let's put this little guy Tina across it. Intently, love it. Oh, Tina, I'm so glad. It's so fun. I'm telling you, I am enjoying these dimensional cards. I They're one of the things that intimidate me the most but I have so much fun when I make them. All right. Let's put that, let's just center it. When in doubt, just center it, right? I feel like one of these is crooked. I'm not sure which one, but hopefully it looks okay once we have it all together. Okay, so now we can play with our little dies. Let's add our sunglasses. And the sunglasses actually have a tiny little piece that you can use to make little um, reflection lines. And you saw what happened with the top of my, um, my eye. So I didn't even attempt it <laughs> because that's just me. I think we could put some ribbon on this little front though. This ribbon is from the Beach Bum Inspiration Box. In your inspiration box, you always get ribbon, you always get sequins, you always get conversation clip clippings, you always get, and we'll use some of those too, maybe on the inside. Um, you always get card panels, piece of glitter stock. I'm telling you what, those inspiration boxes are loaded, loaded. So let's use some of this orange. I love this orange, I think it's a pretty shade. And I love ribbon. If you've watched me before, you probably already know that. So let's get a little ribbon on there. All right, so let's just use the rest of this time for a minute. <laughs> for a confessional, what are you intimidated by? And what have you wanted to try and haven't done it yet? But I will warn you that I may challenge you at the end. All right, I think that bow turned out okay. Let's take that off. All right. So now we can add the rest of what we want to do. The trick now is where do we want to put all of our goodies? 
there's so many goodies. I, I don't want to overdo it, but oh my goodness, there's so many fun things to choose from. I don't think we need the ice cream on this guy. I do think we need our sentiment. All right, well, I feel like the ball is in the right spot. Let's get that on there. I guess we could put the high on the ball. No, it's going to get covered up. And then let's put the little crab there and let's put him on with some of our foam. I've got these little mini ones that I think will be good for this. We'll put him there and then we just need one down at the bottom. So let's get that little guy on there. Peggy? Yeah. Thank you, Peggy. Now, that's the only one that I'm kind of struggling with. I kind of like it over there, even though you can't really tell what it is, though. That's the only reason why I don't like it there. So maybe we'll stick it over here. Because our sun will kind of come down a little bit. Or are we just forcing that too much? What do you guys think? Where do you like it the best? If I put it there, you can I see it. Uh, you don't like it down at the bottom? Darren says I'm forcing it, which is a fair statement. We do still have even the sunglasses on the sun. I'm not even sure I want to do that yet. Let's look and see. But I see, I think the I think the sunglasses are too much too for this guy. I like them. I just think there's a lot going on already with everything on the inside. I think I'm going to leave those off too. I think I'm going to put the sentiment there instead. All right, so let's get that on there. Probably didn't need to put that much glue on, but hey. We'll let that dry for a second while I decide if I want that on there or not. I'm leaving it off. I would rather leave it off than go too crazy, right? Okay, so. I never heard anything. Did anybody have an opinion on that? No one said anything. All right, you guys. So we'll stick our little sun right there. And now we can stick this on the front and I have one more little thing I wanna do. Now I'm kinda of wishing I'd moved him down, but you know what? He's where he's gonna be. So we're just gonna be happy with it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll even just walk away for a minute and come back to it. Can't do that on a live. But if you're creating and you are struggling with something like that, just let it sit there for a minute, go get a drink, come back in. And sometimes that's enough. Sometimes I'll even just take a picture with my camera because for whatever reason, it gives kind of a different perspective and it makes it easier for me to see what is not quite right or what's not balancing. Okay. So now let's add a couple of little enamel dots. I think we'll just put some black ones on there just to kind of anchor things down a little bit. All right. And I don't think we really, well, I think we'll put a little, um, one more sentiment on the inside. And I'm going to use one of the black ones. I had one all cut out. I've told you before, I, I uh, use these little gum. You can see I haven't finished cutting them all, but I this is from a gum package that I just saved for my conversation clippings. I just cut them up and stick them in here. All right, there was one. Sunny Ellen wishes. So much Who said that? Ellen. Oh, Ellen, you are so kind. Thank you. This is kind 
kind of a fun, I like the inside of this one because it's a fun spot. You can fit a lot, like one of the longer sentiments in there. Uh, sunny smiles just for you. Those are both cute. What else have we got? I definitely want to use a black one. And there's enjoy the sunshine. Some days it's okay to be a beach bum. I know there was one that like I just went, oh yeah, I'll use that one. And now do you think I can remember which one it was? It's probably one I already have sitting there. I'm just not remembering. Kelly said, what a great card. Oh, Kelly, you are so sweet. Thank you. It was a fun one to make, I'm telling you. If you have not tried a tunnel card, you definitely should try a tunnel card. Happiness is a day at the beach. That might be the one. But now I think I'm going to change my mind and use the sunny, sending sunny wishes and sandy kisses. And then I'm just going to trim up a little bit just because there for a minute I, you know, it's the blades on my trimmer. That's one of those things that sneaks up on me and I'll be like, finally go, oh, wow, <laughs> time to change the blades makes a huge difference in how finished your card looks. If everything, you know, you don't want to have those jagged edges if you can help that. It's one of those simple things that makes things so much better. Okay, so yeah, let's let's add that to the inside. And I think we'll just go ahead and use our tape again. This, uh, Darren will edit this into a video that we'll post on both the Brutus Monroe YouTube channel and the Crafty Shenanigans YouTube channel on Thanks. Sunday. Oh, Peggy, I'm so glad. You couldn't have made me feel any better. That's my favorite, is when somebody says they're going to try something, that is the ultimate, the ultimate for me. That is why I do what I do. And I do, like, if I could have one goal met, it's that I want you to not be afraid to try it. Try something new. It's not going to, nothing, you know, is going to fall apart. If it, if it break, if it is terrible, if you glue your finger to your project, <laughs> It's all going to be okay. It's worth it to give it a shot. Just get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to stop there. All right. So Darren has posted the link to all of the things that we use today. And you notice I did get my wall painted. I switched walls because my other wall was too short and I was seeing past the wall. So I went ahead and painted the other wall. I finally got it done. Now I just need to figure out what to put in this big empty spot. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And I hope that you will make your own tunnel card. And I will have something new for you next week. Until then, have fun and make your own craft.